Hello all, welcome to Tradition of F Excellence, Season 3, Episode 3. This episode we feature an interview with Nayeli Alanis, who is currently working within our town at Suncrest Elementary School. I believe some of our athletes will find this specific episode interesting, seeing as Nayeli was a three-sport athlete in basketball, soccer, and track. With my commentary out of the way, please enjoy the episode. Hello, Frankfurt Hot Dogs. Thank you for tuning into the Tradition of Excellence. This time around, our guest is Nayali Alanis, class of 2019. Uh, we've heard great things about her, and we have some questions about you. Um, thank you for coming on, by the way. My pleasure. Um, what clubs or sports did you participate in? So in high school, I played soccer, basketball, and I ran track and field. Not all? Yes, no clubs. <laughs> okay. Uh, we heard that you went to state finals or something like that for your hurdles. Yes, so um, sophomore year, junior year, I think it's sophomore year, I um, qualified to go to state for hurdles, the 300 meter hurdles. I placed 19 in the state sophomore year. Um, currently, I believe I still hold um, three meter hurdle records, the 100 meter hurdles, and the 200 meter dash. Still hold those records up to this day? I believe so. I've been, I've been thinking about uh, doing track myself. Some of my friends have recommended it to me, but I feel like I don't have the stamina for that. It's a tough sport, but I mean, try it out. and You'll, get, you'll have to work for the condition and make you work out. Yeah, I, yeah, I hear it's a lot of work. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I will try it. Um, moving on, uh, what have you done since high school? So after high school, I attended the University of Purdue in Fort Wayne. I got recruited to join their women's track and field. I ran for two years. Then I transferred over to Indiana University in Kokomo to finish out my degree and elementary education. I am currently a kindergarten teacher at Suncrest Elementary. Um, I've coached cross country and basketball. So you you have an opening position at Suncrest now? Yes, I got, so last school year, I was the substitute, the building substitute. And then I, there was an open kindergarten position. I took it. Is that simple? Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, what would you tell your 16-year-old uh, self if you could go back and tell yourself anything? Um, I would tell my 16-year-old self, do what you love. And just follow what you want to do, what will make you happy, because at the end, it's your life, and you're the one that's going to live it. No, nothing you regret? There's nothing you, no sports or anything or like no classes you wish you would have attended? Um, no, I've enjoyed the sports I've participated in, the classes I've taken, I've learned a lot from and have shaped me to the person I am and my career and it's a learning process. I still learn from my everyday job, from the kids, for myself, for my colleagues, so I mean, I'm still growing as a person. Well, we're all growing. Yep. Up until the day we die. <laughs> Agreed. Um, what advice would you give to all the other students in the building uh, if you could tell them anything? Um, go out there, have fun, enjoy your life, do what will make you happy, and just don't give up until you are finally where you want to be and where, where you're content with your life. Well, that all? Yep. Okay, uh, thank you for coming on to the show, um, and thank you, Hot Dogs, for tuning in, and we hope to see you next time.